What's up, bears? This is going to be a daily snipe extended bonus. Um, so if you're viewing this on the Instagram or TikTok, feel free to get the full video over on the YouTube. Running gun, tarot. Okay, nine of pentacles energy coming out first and foremost. Financial independence, bliss, being able to go to and fro freely, freedom. Very dope. Um, so we're reading for the narrative more so, Aries. And uh, feel free to check out the... I'm going to take all of this right now, but I just got... Feel free to check out the... Um, I did a daily update um, on the YouTube. So feel free to check that out. Okay, so we do have this kind of steady forward consistency for you, Aries, with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright. Um, it's almost as if you could afford to go about in the way that you are going about things, um, if that makes any sense. The Knight of Pentacles is very stable. Um, you know, having to do with finances and resources, of course. Um, <clears throat> now the nine of pentacles and the knight of pentacles, uh, remind me of the ten of pentacles, which is, you know, of course, the high point of money, finances, resources, all that good stuff. Feel free to check out the money abundance readings for December. They're up there posted part one on YouTube and part two exclusively for Patreon subscribers. It's well worth it. It's only $3 a month helps uh, raise the vibe of the tribe and you're voting with your dollar. Um, the Nine of Cups in the upright is famously, you know, resume type energy, Aries. Um, <clears throat> nines are about independence here, so you got emotional and financial independence. Uh, like I said, this is resume energy, so it's almost as if you're steadily either investing in the resume and or you're able to do things independently independent of other kind of companies or institutions. You could be working self-employed, contract work. Um, there is an energy of movement away or relocation. Could have been in the vicinity, could have been um, obviously someone in association with you moving in or moving out. But for the most part, representing you as well, Aries, uh, this could be leaving choppy waters and moving to more calm and peaceful waters with the Six of Swords in the upright. Um, a lot of movement, a lot of movement, a lot of movement, and it's all in the same direction. It's almost as if, like, someone is shooting a laser beam, like, across a path, and now it's kind of finally coming around your way. Um, it could have to do with the different degrees uh, of the zodiac, depending on where your sun sign is at as well. Sometimes uh, planet alignments affect the first kind of... 10 decans, then the middle group, and then the last third of the decans uh, as far as degrees uh, astrologically. So the chariot, and you'll see here full force is what I'm talking about. So this is like a turning of the laser beam. Uh, it's, you know, pointing in the same direction, turn, 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 and then finally, boom, it's dead center right to you with the chariot card rushing like directly for you. Um, this incoming, you know, victory. Typically, this is an energy of, excuse me, get on board or get out of the way. Um, it's almost as if I'm getting a lot, you know, download-wise, as far as like, you know, metaphor and imagery. It's like the river of sticks, where you have to put the coins on the eyes in order for it to, for, uh, for the passage of the ferry from, from you know, life to death and to the afterlife. It's almost as if also like Titanic imagery, like women and children need to go away because a man, like a man or male energy needs to establish themselves in this way. It needs to like pay the fare, or pay, pay the toll so as to be able to go forward. You know, Jordan Peterson talks a lot about facing the abyss um, or facing the, the behemoth, um, you know, the son going in the belly of the beast to save the father from, you know, the sins of, you know, whatever drama narrative he uses. But, you know, not to belittle what he's saying, but in the hierarchical, archetypal mythos of having to be your own kind of redemption and salvation and retribution. The chariot card, again, that, that rushing incoming energy. Um, 
you know, what can I say about the chariot card here? Um, I, it is a get on or get out of the way type energy. Um, rushing incoming victory is typically, you know, the, the, the connotation. Um, I feel very pleasant about what's coming here uh, upon first blush Aries for you. Um, it's almost, again, I got this sense of like you could afford to do something. You could afford to try this out. You could afford to go by this means or process for a time. And it's almost as if because, you know, again, the women and children proverbially are out of the picture maybe, or whatever forces or energies, you know, tempered and sensitive in some way, um, you're left with this great abundance, uh, or this great independence, I should say, which, uh, depending on, you know, what you're looking in the means of abundance, you know, your freedom and independence in your space could be that abundance, okay? Um, and it's almost as if now you're given road or path or track for, train track for this chariot to drive upon, whereas before it was kind of like there wasn't room to run almost. But now you're kind of making yourself spacious. You see this person, they're sitting on their little bench there and they're, they're spread out, you know, their legs are open and they're spread out. And it's this idea of, uh, you know, being able to kind of take up some room and space here. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Just looking at some of this imagery here. Uh, almost a sense of like Passover as well. You know how we said it's like this kind of laser beam, this tractor beam going over and then with the chariot it's just dead on to you now. So maybe uh, it is your time in some way, shape or form and where you're learning to capitalize or realize it. Let me see what else wants to come up for you, Aries. Two of Wands in the reverse. Being kind of myopic. Um, not fretting or worrying, sustainability. Again, you're powered by these nines here, the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups here. I kind of feel as though you're, you're going about it, you know, moment by moment almost. Kind of very present with the chariot. You know, when you're high speed moving, you're kind of just present. You don't have time to uh, worry about, you know, months down the road, let alone years. Six of Wands here is victory. Okay, this is public acknowledgement and victory. Um, leading to stability or possible union here, offset with the Two of Wands in reverse. Um, let's see. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else, Spirit, that Aries needs to know? I do kind of get a sense of like a keep on doing what you're doing with the Knight of Pentacles. I think Spirit in the Universe is co-signing um, this kind of charge, as it were. It's almost as if you're charging something, snowballing something, getting a fire to a certain roar. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles slow moving. The Six of Swords faster moving and then the chariot full on moving, and then you could afford to kind of slow down again uh, after the reward or the battle or the victory here. So slow moving with the knight. Um, almost being sent off by somebody, okay? With a mission. Okay, Aries is on a mission. Aries is on a mission. I might title the reading that. This is on a mission. Okay, so that being said, um, yeah, you, you know, you, you're being sent on this mission from this feminine energy. It could be the feminine self as well, because you're capable. Um, and then emotionally as well, you're almost saying, hey, I got this, I'm gonna hold down the fort, don't worry about it, do what you gotta do, go tend to what you gotta tend to, maybe you're leaving a loved one for the holidays or something. And then, again, it's like, it's all business. It's like, you know, you're in training camp here and you're ready to go off to battle. It's, it's like when, when masculine energy 
non-gender specific goes off to war, it leaves the, the, the wife and children. And you are myopic, you are super present, uh, you're not getting lost in it, but you understand that, you know, whatever it is that you're doing is, is, is it's almost as if it's a blip in time, okay? Um, you know, war doesn't last forever and ever, or, uh, you know, someone being away on leave or on stay doesn't last forever, but then ultimately, again, you know, you're going to be lauded in some way, shape, or form of how you kind of handled this situation. Um, but yeah, this, the forces are aligned with you, with you uh, Aries. I'm, I'm just so enamored with the stability of the nines here, both emotionally and financially, and then whether, you know, you've set yourself up for this position or, and then the movement of, you know, your reading here from the Knight of Pentacles moving forward slowest to the Six of Swords faster to the Chariot, which is full blown, and then being able to kind of chill and rest and relax. And this might be the kind of trend of your days here where you're kind of just getting the engine started building momentum, 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 and then at the end of the day, you could rest here. But again, this, this is also a snapshot for a, a time, a period, a phase in your life where you're really kind of going for the gold, going for the gusto here. Okay, Aries, so very cool for you. Very cool for you. Um, anything else, Spirit? Anything else, Spirit, for Aries? Anything else for Aries, Spirit? Guys, as always, feel free to reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading. Check out all the Love and Money series uh, for your signs. They're already all uploaded for November and December. And then also the part twos are already uploaded on the Patreon. Appreciate your viewership and support. Okay. Ultimately, this is all leading to a lot of stability, a lot of collaboration, a lot of uh, quality. Okay. Three of Pentacles is quality, stability of the Pentacle from the Queen and the Pentacles from the Archways here, the Arches. It's that Four of Pentacles, which is an energy of stability. Um, Queen of Pentacles in particular is a very giving, warm, nurturing nature, typically Cap Sag energy, you know, as we're rounding out the corner, we're Sag Cap energy in that order. Uh, holiday, New Year energy, being able to give those loved ones. Like I said, with the Three of Pentacles, this collaborative effort um, could have been an energy of moving, but really, truly kind of being aware of the silver lining, no matter what may have occurred with the Three of Pentacles. Um, still taking a moment, you know, a uh, pause in action or battle, as it were to have that Two of Wands visionary. Uh, it's like a vision quest. Okay. So you do want to dream big and remember the bigger picture is what I'm saying. And ultimately, I think that you will be rewarded or compensated universally with the scales of justice here. Okay, okay, okay. So that's what I have for you. Though. Thank you for allowing me to jump into your energy, into your game a little bit, Aries. I myself am an Aries as well. But, you know, for that matter, we're all signs of the Zodiac 1 through 12, so feel free to, to watch all the readings um, as they apply to, in the very least, all of the sectors of our astrological houses in our natal chart, Aries through Pisces. So, okay, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, reach out, like, share, follow, comment, uh, share with friends, family, peers, people who you think might be interested in the entertainment value or reading or whatever. Holla your boy. Peace.